Good morning everybody. In this video we are going to talk about national symbols and national integration. The main area of discussion will be our national symbols, national flag, national emblem, national anthem. To know the rules of using our national flag, to know the background and importance of the national anthem, meaning of national integration and its importance and factors hindering the national integration. Let us know national symbols. Generally, a country uses the symbols which reflect its culture and heritage. They are called national symbols. Most importantly, the national flag and the national emblem are called national symbols. Every nation has its own national anthem. Similarly, India also has its national animal and national bird. These national symbols are used in creating patriotism and national integrity among the citizens. Our National Anthem Janagana Mana is our national anthem. It was written in 1911 by Rabindranath Tagore in Bengali language. Out of five stanzas, only first stanza was adopted as our national anthem by the Constituent Assembly on 26th January 1950. It requires 52 seconds to sing the national anthem. On some occasions, the first and the last lines are only sung, which requires 20 seconds. It is the duty of every Indian to respect the national anthem. Showing disrespect and hindering its singing are considered as offence under the law. We should stand erect in discipline while singing the national anthem. We should sing with flawless pronunciation. Our national flag Tricolor The flag is the emblem of a nation. It is the proof of freedom, patriotism and unity of a nation. Every citizen is moved heartily when the flag is raised on the pole. Design and description of our flag Our flag was designed by Pingali Venkaiya. It has three colours, saffron at the top, white at the centre and green at the bottom. There is a blue coloured wheel at the centre of the white colour. The wheels have 24 spokes. It's taken from Ashoka Chakra of Sarnath. The flag has a rectangular shape. Its length and breadth are in the ratio of 3 to 2. The three coloured stripes are in equal proportion. The cloth of the flag is either cotton or silk. It should be hand woven. Uniqueness of our Indian flag. Each color represents its significance. Orange is for courage and sacrifice. Green for faith and, faith and fertility. White for peace and honesty. And the chakra represents law and progress. Rules of using the national flag. The flag should not be dirty or torn. While hoisting the flag, the saffron color should be at the top. Flag should be raised till the tip of the pole and hoisted. There should not be any other flag hoisted to the height of the national flag. Flag should be always hoisted after sunrise and must be removed before the sunset and must be kept folded. During national morning, it should be hoisted half of its height. The flag should be held in the right hand while walking. The flag should not touch the ground at any moment. We should not use plastic flags. Our National Emblem Our national, national emblem is part of Ashoka Pillar at Sarnath. Here four lions are standing on a platform facing four directions with their backs facing each other. There is a wheel in all the four directions. Between the wheels, there are images of elephant, bull, horse and lions. The wheel at the base is known as Wheel of Dharma. The government of India adopted our national emblem on 26 January 1950. A Devanagari line called Satyamiyu Jayate 
which means truth alone prevails taken from mundaka upanishad is written at the base here are our other national symbols hindi is our national language rupee is currency of india vande mataram is the national song tiger is our national animal peacock is our national bird and banyan tree is our national tree ganga is our national river mango is our national fruit dolphin is our national aquatic animal and lotus is our national flower national integration national integration means living harmoniously without having hatred jealous or prejudice against another person or community it means one respecting the other and living in a am- amity it is the feeling of living as equal members in the family of nation national integration refers to the situation where all the people of the country feel they are one although there are differences with regard to race religion culture and language importance of national integration it is important to create unity among the people it creates the feeling of oneness it strengthens the feeling of equality among all the people it prominently encourages in achieving national unity brotherhood and equality let us talk about diversity it means the presence of varieties in the natural diversity biodiversity and diversity in the life of people natural diversity means india contains high mountain ranges very long rivers and large plains in the same way there are regions with severe cold and high temperature there are hot deserts too the nature has blessed us with dense forest cool and fresh lakes waterfalls attractive beaches and hundreds of small islands biodiversity the biodiversity of india is huge only a few nations in the world have such biodiversities population diversity people belonging to different communities live in india there is diversity in appearance physique language food manner customs and religions unity in diversity the living culture of community that has faith in different languages culture and religions is called unity in diversity our india has geographical diversity too everyone can follow the religion of their choice factors hindering the national integration are casteism communalism and regionalism casteism the casteism means looking down upon the people of other castes a feeling of superiority of one's own caste is casteism casteism is dangerous to the feeling of unity therefore it is an hindrance in the unity of a country communalism a feeling of superiority of one's own religion over the others and fighting only for the sake of religion is called communalism it creates misunderstanding among the people it disturbs the peace and leads to the loss of property and lives so we must avoid such practices regionalism it is the feeling of one's narrow commitment towards one's own geographical region one sided love for the region is hindrance to the unity of india we should understand that we are indians first and then we belong to any particular region thank you for watching and have a great day